Hey, what's going on guys? It's Beast from Wanna bring you another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. I'm gonna be playing on the map Vortex with my friend Rob and we're playing some team doubles or 2v2, whatever you like to call it, in the face off playlist obviously. And I actually like this map a lot and I'm uh, gonna be probably kick starting a new short little series until uh, Ghost comes out, which will be in I think a few weeks actually. I didn't even know. I haven't really been uh, looking much into Ghost in the past few weeks just because I haven't really been interested. I've been trying to let the game surprise me, so to speak. I want to see exactly how good the you know game will actually be. I want to let it see if it'll surprise me. And as you see right here, there's a pretty nasty hip fire with the CM901. Uh, the series that I was wanting to kick off, though, was um, do you even hip fire, bro? Just until Ghost comes out, maybe. I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to see how well I could do with only hip firing, not aiming in one time with any weapon, even rocket launchers, and try not to use any equipment, only using the uh, primary weapon or secondary, just, you know, mainly the primary. And I, I played a little bit with this, and I got two decent gameplays with the Sam 901. I got some pretty crazy long shots with it, and uh, this is actually a pretty decent gameplay. I got pretty close to uh, Moab, and the guys I actually think I got a 15 kill streak before I died. Pretty crazy, uh, you know, a little bit of a spoiler alert there. I apologize if some of you actually cared, but I didn't get the Moab, so it's not really much of a spoiler. But uh, it's actually pretty difficult to play Domination and play um, objectively when you have such a limited range with an assault rifle that's not even uh, too decent. You know, It's not the best up close. It's a decent weapon. I think I actually get a long shot here. This is pretty crazy. Let's see. Yep, <laughs> headshot. <laughs> that freaking headshot dude in Final Stand. I think he was in Final Stand. And uh, it's pretty crazy long shots that you can get with this thing, man, especially if you have steady aim on. Uh, the weapon's lethality is still pretty crazy. Just hip firing and... Uh, you can even see it right here. I'm just trying to shoot this dude and pick him off through the bushes, and I get him again right here, and the specialist bonus. But anyways, I wanted to talk about something really quick that happened to me. Uh, uh, it was Friday uh, for the last, or this week, I guess you can consider it. This will be uploaded on uh, either later on today or Sunday. But uh, I had a quick little story to tell you guys. Like, if you've ever been to the doctor, which most of you have probably been to the doctor before, just to get, your, uh, get a quick little checkup. That's all I thought it was going to be. I was just going to go and get a checkup, you know, I just figured they were going to, I guess, check to see if I was sick or doing okay, just the usual basics, no, 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 <laughs> it was uh, a little bit unexpected, I thought that, because I had previously got some, um, I actually had to get four shots and get my blood drawn, which, I'm not, I, I don't, I can handle shots, like, I get shots pretty much two or three times a week just because of allergy shots, I can handle shots pretty well, but, uh, these shots were, you know, a little bit, um, I guess, different than the allergy shots. I mean, you know, they were probably different sizes for the needle or whatever and all that crap. They got like two in each shoulder, left and right shoulder. Uh, just all the important shots that you need before you go off to college and stuff. And I think they'll get some more for me right before I go to college. And, you know, after I graduate high school and all that good stuff. And then also I had to get my blood drawn. And, you know, I just assumed it was just going to be a regular checkup because I had got these, uh, some of these shots before. And I also got the flu shot, so, you know, you got four shots. Um, but I got the other three shots before, and uh, I get the flu shot every year as well, which you should get the flu shot because the flu is pretty gruesome shit, and, you know, it's no one likes to get the flu. It's terrible. Uh, myself included, I, I can't stand it. I've had the flu a few times, and it is some shitty shit. <laughs> it's pretty bad. But uh, I've got these shots before a few years ago, I think, like, when I went to uh, the – you know, right before the first year of high school and, like, my freshman year, I got these shots the other two or three or four. And, uh, you know, I figured I would never have to get them again, but nope, that was not the case. I had to go back and get those damn things again. And, uh, you know, all that good stuff. And then when I went to get my blood drawn, here's the kicker, you know. I already hate getting my blood drawn because I have to, at least for me, I, you know, they take, like, my left or right arm and they just freaking stick it, you know, like the inner part of your elbow. I don't know what you call it, that inner part of your arm. You know what I'm talking about when you get your blood drawn. They try and find your vein and all that. Well, when I got, uh, when I went in the room, I already knew that it was going to suck ass. And, of course, it did. It was worse than most people's experiences. Uh, when I went in there, you know, my nurse didn't really seem like she knew exactly what she was doing, which I don't know how the hell you cannot know what you're doing if you've been to medical school for, I don't know, what, I'd say at least four to six years, probably longer, just to uh, do that stuff. But, you know, apparently it's difficult to find a vein. <laughs> and it's not like I'm really skinny, so it's not like my veins don't show up or anything. I mean, how do you not find that, man? So she stuck the needle in there. And she's like, man, the blood's going really, really slow for some reason. I'm assuming that because of that, she probably missed the vein. 
So she takes the needle and she starts digging it around. And my left part, this is, you know, this is my left arm. I haven't even gotten to the best part yet. She just starts moving around. She's like, maybe I'll try and get it in the vein a little bit better. And I'm thinking in my head, man, do you really not know what the hell you're doing? Because you probably missed the vein, to be honest. And I'm assuming she did. So after about five minutes of trying to figure out, you know, to try and get the needle to work in my arm, that didn't work. So I said, here, let's just use your right arm. So I said, okay. And the reason I don't like using my right arm is because that's I'm right-handed and my mouse is right-handed. And I just don't like to do that because I didn't want to mess up my right arm. But we had to do that. So basically, I had to get uh, my blood drawn essentially twice. And she ended up doing all that. But, you know, it, it sucked. It was a pretty bad experience. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys, of course, have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next one.